What is up my fellow gamers? In today's video, we are going over the best free to play build for new players. Three heroes, we're going over their accessories, their cores, everything you need to know to get started in Metal Slug Awakening. Like and sub for more amazing gaming content. This game, man, I've been having a lot, a lot of fun with this game. So let's jump into our heroes and go over this. I'll have timestamps down below because I'm going to go over each individual character for the three for our team. So first one we're going to go over is Marco. Now, the thing that you need to understand with building a team, and this is very, very important, especially if you want to do like maybe a custom team, it needs to consist of one firepower character, which is going to be like your main DPS damage dealing character. And then the other two characters in your lineup are going to be Spec Ops. So if you take a look at our characters underneath their name, you're gonna see Spec Ops or Firepower. This is like the best way to go ahead and build out like a custom team. And you should never ever have like three Spec Ops in one single team. The Spec Ops kind of do special things. They're not main damage dealers. The main damage dealers are gonna be the ones that say Firepower. So for this instance, for our best free to play team, we're going with Marco as our main damage dealer for firepower. We then have uh, Fio as a spec ops. And finally, I don't know how to say this name, Eerie, Ira, spec ops as well. So this is very free to play friendly. These are all basic characters. Everyone gets these for free. It's also really easy to promote them as well because we get a lot of their badges. So let's go over Marco first. Now, what he specializes in is called ROF, which is rate of fire. So his whole gimmick is he wants to shoot his bullets as fast as possible. So because of that, for our weapons, we're going to be trying to equip weapons on him, specifically that have that HMG next to it. So any type of gun that's an HMG gun is what you're gonna put on Marco. These are your basic assault rifle weapons and they shoot really fast. Um, so at the beginning, everyone's gonna get the Assault HMG for free. So you're gonna have to start off with this one, level it up, and then once you go ahead and unlock the Spark HMG, just go ahead, recycle the Assault stuff and transfer it all over to the Spark. You can get the Spark HMG for free if you just go over to our game launch and we just start completing events. So right here, two star epic gun for free. On day three, we can go ahead and just claim a bunch of these and you're gonna get the little puzzle pieces so that you can summon it. And then also you'll have enough to go ahead and start up. So this is a great free to play gun, put it on Marco. At the end of the video, I'm also gonna go over the best combo to do with this because there's a specific order that you wanna use these characters to maximize your damage output. For promotions, the promotions is gonna be really important because you're not gonna have like full maximum value of him just yet until you go ahead and unlock this. Once you unlock the alternate strategy, that's when you're gonna see a huge, huge damage spike. So what this does is every time he goes ahead and tosses a grenade, it's gonna increase his ROF, which is his rate of fire by a percentage for an amount of time, max three stacks. So our strategy behind this is, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to throw out Eerie Eri first. We're gonna deal a bunch of damage. We're gonna apply her weapon effect debuff on the enemy. We're gonna use her special ability. Then we're gonna switch immediately to Fio. We're gonna apply her debuff to the enemy. And then finally, we're gonna finish it up with Marco. We're gonna attack with him, apply the weakened debuff on the enemy. And then we are going to start launching those grenades and because we have that promotion unlock, the alternate strategy is gonna increase our rate of fire by a lot, and then we're just raining bullets. Even if you don't have this unlocked yet, it's fine. Still work towards it, build it out. This is still a very viable team. For Marco's accessories, we have two different ones, and they're going to depend slightly on the situation. But once you do go ahead and unlock this promotion, the alternate strategy, you should only be using the triple thunderbolt. So when he goes ahead and uses his special ability, which throws a grenade, he now throws three grenades. And because of that, it's going to scale really well with that promotion of alternate strategy. So every time we throw one grenade, we increase it by 5% our ROF. So because of that, we're gonna be throwing three grenades with that accessory. So we're really going to take advantage of that. 
So right now you can have something like explosive gas. Explosive gas is good for uh, AOE damage if you're going through PVE content and there's a lot of enemies. Otherwise you're gonna be using triple thunderbolt for burst damage, which is gonna be ideal for boss battles, anything that has a lot of health, single target enemies with those big health pools. Two sets that you can use right now, but you're not gonna have access to the best sets for him until you unlock joint operations hard level one. So we gotta get to commander level 35 before we even have access to that which is fine but it's going to be again something you're building towards so the two best core sets you can use for marco early on until you unlock hard level one is going to be this one right here which is going to increase our rate of fire by a percentage for our two-piece set and then for the four-piece set, the further the enemies are, we're going to increase the amount of damage we do. And the other one we have is gonna be the Volms core. And for the four-piece set for this, when the shots hit an enemy unit, we're gonna increase our damage for every type of debuff inflicted on the target. So this is basically gonna stack up to 12% because we're gonna have three different debuffs on the enemy with our combo. So we're gonna do lots and lots of extra damage. But once you do go ahead and unlock hard level one, the core set that you're gonna be looking for for Marco is gonna be called the Dragon, I don't know how to pronounce this, the new Nosuk core or however you say this, I'll show a picture of it on the screen. That is the one that you wanna put on him. All right, moving along to the next hero we have, this is gonna be our first Spec Ops, this is gonna be a Fio, but our passive that we get from her, all allied characters gain 5% wound damage bonus while she's in the team. Refrigerators are gonna drop large amounts of food when they explode, which can be picked up for an increase to your rate of fire boost, max five stacks. This buff can be transferred to allies. So we're gonna be transferring this to Marco to really boost his rate of firepower. For her weapon, we're gonna be using anything that can put the wound debuff on the enemy. Ender Rocket Launcher is a great gun that I believe everyone gets for free. So this is one that you can go ahead equipped on her. You don't have to spend any money or anything and you can get a lot of value from this. Attacking enemy units inflicted with wound will deal extra damage. So you wanna use high rate of fire weapons to trigger extra damage more frequently, which goes hand in hand with Marco because Marco has those ROF weapons. For her accessories, we have two different ones. The one that we already have is going to be the time to share. She's going to restore ultimate skill energy for allies when picking up food dropped from the refrigerators. This is really good for going ahead and increasing the ultimate energy for Marco. So that way we can use his ultimate ability a lot more. She does have another accessory that you can use on her. It's called Toy Guardian, which just goes ahead and it increases like the block rate of blocking bullets. Promotion wise, what's really helping us is going to be the medicinal rations. Enemy units inflicted with wound by Fio will have a chance to drop food when taking damage for 10 seconds. So they're gonna be dropping the food. The food is gonna go ahead, increase our rate of fire. So you can see the combo going hand in hand. Unfortunately, at the beginning, there really isn't any good core set to put on her. You don't get a really good core set for her until you unlock joint operations hard level one. And then the best one for her is going to be the fall walker core. And that also isn't gonna be available until hard stage six in joint ops. And the last character for this build, for her the type of weapons we're gonna be using are gonna be any type of weapon that can go ahead and put the ignite debuff on enemies to so the little fire icon. As of right now, the only good fire gun I have is the hammer shotgun. The main one we're gonna be using is the blast compound. It replaces her charge with an enhanced Sparrow's Bomb, which is gonna deal a bunch of damage, but what we really like is it's reducing the cooldown by an amount of time as well, which really helps. Other one you could also use is the uh, Dex Core, which just goes ahead and it makes her charge with two sprints in a row. So it's really good movement. You're gonna be in a level where you need to move around constantly because you need that speed, you need that maneuverability, then this is the one you would take, but ideally the Blast Compound just for putting out the most damage possible. Promotion wise, we got Blasty Entry. When she inflicts Ignite, the whole team instantly gains 5% debuff damage for, for 10 seconds. Unfortunately, I do not have a weapon license for this yet. These are the available weapons that you're gonna need to go ahead and activate that. So I've been trying to summon for new weapons and try and get some. When it comes to her core set, it's kind of the same where you're not gonna have access 
to the ideal course for her until you unlock the hard levels in joint operation. Uh, but early on, one that you can kind of use is the cauldron core and that's only because of the four piece set the closer the enemy units the higher the damage dealt when shots hit which can be increased and that's only because you're using a shotgun so the enemies you know you're going to be close to the enemies so this can kind of help out but again ideally you don't really want to have her out that long to take advantage of this you can hit a few enemies you're just wanting to put the debuffs on them and then you immediately want to switch to marco this is something that i've been using just for now until i unlock hard six all right so here we go this is going to be a boss battle this will be a great example to show you this in action so we're going to switch and put this on them we got the fire we got the fire now now we're going to switch back to marco and then we're going to throw our grenades look how much burst damage we are able to do look at that all three debuffs going at the same time and look at all this damage we're able to accumulate so much extra damage is happening we're in the weakened state we're able to i mean look at this we've got so much damage going on because of that and then as the debuffs wear off just switch back to the other characters go ahead put the debuffs back on go ahead we'll do this again we'll switch back we'll drop our ultimate ability we'll go back to marco and there we go all three debuffs super effective super simple absolutely free to play don't need to spend any money in this game hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video stay happy stay safe i'll see y'all later peace